Previously on Last Stop. Dad! I know, I'm running late. Let me get sorted, I'll be quick. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Uh, do you have any post for us? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I do. There you go. You see that? Couldn't even bother to bring me my damn post. I like him. Oof. Are you guys all right? You tell you tell We're made for each other. Molly, you're okay. Are you here to see my dad? I think he's sick. Wait, I'm your dad. Uh, no, you're Jack. Jack? Makes absolutely no sense. Did I have a stroke last night? Why are you being so weird? Have you got some more of our post or something? Can you let me in? I think I need to speak to your, um, dad. Okay, I guess I'm not a stranger. He's locked himself in his bedroom. Thanks. God, what the hell has happened to me? Jack? Please say that's you in there. Who are you? What the hell's going on? Why do I look like a terrible, fat old man? All right. Tone it down a notch. My daughter's out here. Who the hell are you? Why do you sound like me? I think you should just open the door so we can talk about it. Don't panic. Jesus H. Christ! You've stolen my body! I don't want it. Give me my body back. Wait. I thought I recognised this face in the mirror. If this is your body, that must make you the bloke who brings the post! John? I'm not going to complain about that at this moment. Help! Help! Shut up! No! What the hell are you doing? Your dad's a little bit unwell. So I'm going to take you to school. That's alright, isn't it? Sure. What's wrong with my dad? Oh, it's fine. He just hit his head on the sink, you know, when he was cleaning his teeth. I told him to have a little lie down. But Mr Gilbert said if you have concussion you shouldn't sleep because you might not wake up again. He doesn't have concussion. But are you a doctor, chap? I've watched a lot of hospital dramas on the telly. Is Dad going to have to go to a hospital again? No. He'll be back to normal in no time. Just... He has to go to the doctor about his heart sometimes. Trust me, Mole. He'll be fine. 
You've never called me Mole before. Will you make sure Dad's okay when I'm at school? He can't have fried food. He isn't allowed. Well, I'm just going to pop home after this to check on him. Or cheesecake. He'll ask you for it by saying no. Hey, Molly. Hello, whoever you are. Hey, Shaz. This is Jack. Hello, Jack. Molly, where's your dad? He hit his head on a sink and has concussion. Oh, my God! So, Jack brought me to school while he sleeps it off. Thanks for that colourful interpretation there. He, he's, he's fine, he's just a bit ill. Who are you again? I told you, he's Jack. Molly, why don't you run along to school? OK. OK, what's really happened to John? And why the hell are you taking his daughter to school? OK, I can explain. You better. I'm calling the police. I'm, uh, John's nephew. That doesn't make sense. He's an only child. Him and my dad have been estranged for years. He, he, he doesn't like talking about it. Look, if you don't believe me, ask me something only someone close to John would know. I'm not playing games. Please. Well... What's John's mum called? Agatha Smith. Biggest phobia? Cotton wool. Can't stand the feel of it. You're really John's nephew. It's a complicated story. Look, I'm, I'm glad I bumped into you, actually. He asked whether you could tell Clive he won't be in today. He's going to be in the shit for that. But sure, I can tell him. Thanks, Shaz. Uh, Sh Shazia. Yeah. I appreciate it. John's so fragile. I often say he could use some help around the house. Well, not that fragile. Right. You're not going to scream at me again, are you? He's done a runner. Jack, what the hell? Do you know this guy? Amy, it's me! I'm Jack! He's my crazy uncle. Sorry, I'm pretty sure he's high. How does he know my name? He's lying! Amy, it's me! We've been friends forever! Oh, uh, I guess I told him about you. Why? What did you tell him? Oh, 
You know, that you're a good friend. That I can open up to you and you'll listen. Yeah, you're a good listener. Well done for listening. Your favourite ice cream's rum and raisin. Your favourite sport is basketball. You secretly smoke, but you never tell anybody. Shut up! Did you seriously tell him all this shit about me? Yeah. Don't tell me any secrets. I can't keep my mouth shut. Okay, well, I'll take care of him. Why don't you get off to, uh Work? Don't go! Amy! Amy, help me! I need your help! Yeah, you go to work. Come on, Jack. I mean, John. Let's get you home. Yeah. Bye. Amy! Jack! Stay away from me. You've done this. You've put a spell on me or something. You're evil. Hang on a minute. We're both in exactly the same situation. Notice how much calmer I am. Now stop, so we can talk about this. Just leave me alone. Oh, my body feels so weird. Jesus, don't you ever exercise? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't exactly plan on renting out my body to anyone this morning. I can't even look at you! This is so messed up. It's the same for me as it is for you, you know. Come on. I'll buy you a coffee. Have you got any idea how this might have happened? No. Oddly enough, this is my first time swapping bodies. Something would have triggered this. Something that connects the two of us. Something spiritual. Or witchcraft. No, I don't believe in any of that crap. Jesus, what are they going to say at work? Well, I'm you, right? I've got your phone here. Let me call in sick for you. Actually, not a bad idea. Okay, look for Sonia in my contacts. She's the receptionist at work. Tell her I've got the squits or something. Charming. Okay. It's ringing. Superfab Games. Sonia speaking. Hey, Sonia. It's Jack. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make it in today because I got the squirts, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, Skyver. No worries, I'll tell Derek. Enjoy your lying. No, really. I'm very poorly. She hung up. Yeah, Sonia's safe. Hey, hang on a minute, your phone's buzzing. Answer it. Say you're me. Uh, hello? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I see, yeah. Okay, thanks. Are you going to tell me who that was? It was your daughter's school. That's it to let them know in future if you plan to keep Molly home for the day. Such an idiot. I shouldn't have taken her to school. She must have been so confused about everything. Well, you did drop her off in my body. I mean, she possibly thought that was a little bit weird. Shut up and help me look for her. Hey, relax. Look, she's probably just in the park, right? Playing on the swings, like, you know, like a kid. You need to chill out. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realise you were such a Zen guru. Maybe I should follow your example and scream for help. <laughs> I'm just saying, if I was bunking off school, I would go to the park. It feels seriously weird being you. Ooh, everything jiggles about as I move. Yeah, well, give it 15 years and you'll feel the same. Actually, why am I answering that? We need to find Molly. Mate, she's probably just drinking cider behind a tree somewhere. She's eight. Oh. Alcohol-free cider?
There you are. Thank God. Oh, hi, Jack. Nice to see you. This is going to take some explaining. So I didn't go to school. Am I in trouble? What? Nah. We're cool. No worries. Uh, I think I'll do the parenting, thank you very much. Why are you both being so weird? Dad, I was worried you were poorly, so I wanted to go home. But then I got scared you'd be angry. Are you going to tell her or am I? There's something we need to talk to you about. Let's get you home. How come Jack's here? I think you should ask John that. I, I mean, Jack. We have something to tell you that affects all three of us. Is it about our post? OK, uh, let me see. Oh, you know on Halloween, where everyone dresses up in different clothes and pretends to be someone else? Well, this is a little bit like that. What? Our brains have got swapped. Well, I guess that's to the point. OK, something happened, we're not sure what. But it does mean that I, your dad, now lives in this body. Jack's. Basically, I'm Jack and he's John. You've swapped brains? Yes. And you're my dad? Yeah. And this isn't a joke? Chicken dippers. Solid dinner choice, John. They're the business. So, what happens now? We get our old bodies back. All oh, right! Dad, you've got a sauce down your front. That shirt's limited edition. It's all right. It'll come out in the wash. You both, you both look a bit of a state. You should dress each other up properly. Got a point. None of my clothes are going to fit me anymore. Okay, we'll go get my stuff, but I want them back in the same condition I left them. She's a smart kid. I know. I'm a lucky dad. How do you put up with feeling out of breath all the time? You get used to it. I don't know how my clothes look so bad when you wear them. <laughs> We're going to have to perform a wardrobe transplant on you. Go and get some clothes from the wardrobe in my bedroom. Right, well, it's been quite a day. I should probably be getting to bed soon. Well, you can't stay here. <laughs> of course I can. It's my place. I thought we went over this. For all intents and purposes, you are me. The neighbours will ask questions if I'm walking Molly to school every day. So what are you saying? You want me to move in? I'm sorry. None of this is ideal. <laughs> the more I think this through, the more problems there are. What about work? I can't keep calling in sick. I'm guessing you have a job too. Yeah, you're right. We need to figure that out too. Any suggestions? On Monday we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you. And you're going to have to pretend to be me. Previously on Last Stop. Are you right, babe? Yeah. 
just had a long day. My babe's saving the world again, is she? The most exciting desk job there is. See, you've met Amy. Is that her name? She's getting fast-tracked. What? I've decided to include Amy in the selection process. Let's see who comes out on top. How's life inside the military industrial complex? Blown up any babies with your death robots this week? No, sorry. But hey, maybe when you overthrow the government, you can have me thrown in the gulag. That might cheer you up. All I see in the news these days is robots. <laughs> robots killing people, robots taking jobs, robots having sex with people. You know, in my day, we'd have balloted if someone tried to give a job to a bloody robot. Strong industrial action is what we need. Did you get your test results back from Dr. Lund? That's another thing that's gone to the dogs. The state of the health service in this country! Okay, before you get deep into another one of your rants, do you fancy going for a walk? Nini, you're just trying to shut me up? Well, I won't fall for it. Let's go look at some birds, you miserable old sod. Hmm. Well, don't dawdle. Lead on. Why do I never get to see my grandson? Because you terrify the poor kid. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm just trying to correct all the rubbish you put in his head. I'm only teasing. Dylan loves his grandpa. Have you still got your allotment here? Bastards took it away from me. Christ's sake. What did you do this time? The fascists closed ranks and forced me out didn't have the stomach for my radical proposals. And there it is. Here you go, comrades. Get your beaks around this manky old bread. Dad, I've got a question. I call these two Tony and Alistair. Mangy old bear. Did you or Mum ever have a... affair? What? I don't know, I was just wondering. You and Mum were married for 40 years. That's a long time to be with one person. Where did you get that idea? Our marriage was strong. Your mother shone like gold. You know, she saw the beauty in all things, Nini. No matter how cracked and broken. <laughs> Spending 40 years seeing the world through her eyes was a privilege. She was always so patient with us. Do you remember that mobile we made together? The <laughs> one I tore down in a strop. <laughs> Seabirds of the British Isles. I got it from the RSPB. Oh, your mother loved coming here to feed the birds. You know, everything took a turn for the worse when she left us. It did, didn't it? 
You had a loving family. <laughs> I don't know why you turned out like you did. It's getting chilly. We should get you back inside. <laughs> Had enough of me, I see. Okay. Take me home. I, uh, imagine you're in a hurry to get back to work. No, I'm done for the day. Good. You'll have time for a cuppa then. I had Julia come round here the other day. You know, Julia from the book club. Anyway, she was trying to get me to sponsor her boy to climb some hill in South America. Can you believe the cheek of it? What does climbing a mountain, let alone traveling all the way to Argentina, have to do with charity? They've got it the wrong way around. I'm not paying for someone to have a lavish holiday. Who do they think they are? It's an insult, to be honest. And if you want a holiday, you can have a weekend in Wales like the rest of us. Don't be shy. I'll have a little more sugar. Keep it coming. A little more? Seriously? Nini, fetch the chocolate biscuits. What is this? Is this what I think it is? Put it away, walking around in other people's business. These are drugs. Class A drugs. Oh, stop being such a wet blanket. They're therapeutic. You know, I use them scientifically. And I thought I was the screw-up in this family. They're psychedelics. Safer than riding a bus, you know? I take them to broaden my mind. Where are you getting them from? Oh, so the stuffed shirt is taking an interest, huh? You want some too? Try one of mine if you like. No, I mean, just tell me who the dealer is. Oh, you wouldn't believe the things I've seen, Nini. A bizarre city in the middle of the desert with strange beings with, with red and green skin. And a huge flower with glowing walls. Ah, <laughs> trippy, huh? His name, Dad. Calls himself Spider. He was very easy to find. I looked him up online at the library. Here, I'll write down his phone number.
I need to meet someone. You'll stick those in the bin as soon as I'm gone. Okay? Oh, yes, yes, Chad. Leave me be. Can I help you? Hello. I don't think we've met before. You're Wendy, aren't you? Right. It's okay. You're not in trouble. I'm just a friend of your dad's. I know who you are. Well, this is kind of awkward, isn't it? For you? Yeah. I feel like we've got off on the wrong foot. Maybe we can start over? Not now, obviously, but uh, another time. Sure. I like your wedding ring, by the way. Hey, you. Didn't expect to see you today. Did you tell your daughter I'm married? Is that a problem? How much does she know? I don't keep secrets from her. She's a grown-up girl. This could make things difficult. I guess I could always try and win her over. Take her out for a coffee or something. Do you think she'd go for that? Uh, probably not. <laughs> no need to sugarcoat it. Anyway, you gonna invite me in? What? Hello, Mr. Spider. Good to meet you. How are you? <laughs> Is this a wind-up or something? Right. How's this work, then? Bit of small talk until you're ready to get down to business? I don't know what you're talking about. Really? You sure you're not Spider? Come to the alley off Cherry Tree Lane in about 30 minutes. you the bird on the phone? Who else would I be? Let's do this then. What are you after? Look at the state of you. Is Spider an alias or did your parents just really hate you? Look, I'm not going to waste my time. If you don't give up dealing, 
I'll call the police and have you arrested. <laughs> you what? A bit slow on the uptake, eh, Spider? Let me put it more clearly. If you sell drugs again, I'll absolutely obliterate you. Got some mouth on you. Drug on love before I take it to heart. Oh dear. Wrong answer. I'm afraid I'm going to have to hurt you now. You serious? Yeah, that's my arm. <sighs> Gavin Briggs, flat 114, Oriel House, the Villas. Very nice. You've done well for yourself. Oh, Gavin. Do you think you could try to be a little bit better behaved? Yeah. What was that? Yes, absolutely. Good. Boy, I'm going to keep hold of this license, just in case I ever need to hand it in to the authorities. You're not the police? Who the hell are you? I'm just a bird on the phone, Gavin. Chill gone. No woman disrespects Spider. You've got bare bad things coming your way. having fun with your extracurricular activities. What? You know, all the extra work you've been doing. You should be getting paid overtime for working so hard, so late. Why do you always have to work late, Mum? <laughs> I feel like I'm being ganged up on here. Mum has a really important job. It's like a big competition where the best win. And Mum is the best. You're the best as well. You know, your dad used to be an excellent rock climber back in the day. He was in magazines, books, all sorts. A household name in that world. Before he gave it up. I never knew that. What magazines? A story for another evening. Now, come on. Bedtime. Oh, really? Yep. Come on, Dylan. I'll tuck you in. Oh, Dad, can't you do it? Listen to your mum. No, that's all right. I'll uh, clean up here. You take him up. I'm going to have to cancel tonight. Why? What's wrong? It doesn't matter. I just can't make it, OK? OK. So when can I see you? I'm not sure, Felix. Just give me some time. A 
Q3D, we are dedicated to making your life easier. Automation, machine learning, blockchain security. You can put your trust in Q3D. Q3D, seizing the future. Hughes, you didn't disappoint. I had a look through your examination results. They're very strong. Can I assume that means I got the job? Not quite yet. I want to give Amy another shot. We're going to do another round of interviews. Just the two of you. <laughs> Sir, with respect, I am the far more qualified candidate. This assignment means a great deal to me. There's a long personal history attached to this. You can understand why I want to be absolutely sure I have the right person. <laughs> when have I ever let you down? I'm not afraid of a little competition. Okay. You're gonna witness an annihilation. There she is. Previously on Last Stop. Did you see that guy just then? I keep seeing him bringing home different girls, but I've not seen one of them leave. Let's follow him. I want his number. Holy shit! Get a video of this! <gasps> Leg it! <gasps> Help! We need to move him. Let's get him inside, out of sight. Where the hell are you? Um, here she is. Right. This is not on. You told Mum you'd text her. You didn't. You said you'd be at Vivek's house. You weren't. We were worried about you, Donna. Is everything okay? Just a moment, Ash. I'm not finished. Where the hell were you, Donna? Where are your friends? What prevented you giving us even a courtesy text? I'm really, really sorry. It won't happen again. I had to come out here this late. I have work in the morning. Mum's got enough on her plate. You were out with Vivek again, right? Where is he? He's just hanging out. I wonder how Vivek's dad feels about his son staying out all hours. Why don't I ask him while we're here? I bet he'll appreciate me knocking on his door in the middle of the night. No, please don't do that. Babe, it's pretty late. Perhaps we should all just go home. Oh, perfect. My fiancé's taking your side now. I don't know what's happened with you, Donna. You're always in your head. You're never at home. You never help around the house. Okay, I get it. I'm a total screw-up. 
Are you happy now? Let's just talk about this in the morning. Fine. I've done all I can. You two can sort it out amongst yourselves. I know Em can come on a bit strong at times, but she loves you. She has your best interests at heart. I know, Ash, but can we please just drop it, though? You seem a bit anxious. Has something happened? Just tired. I'm not your sister. I'm not going to ask where you were. But you can always tell me if you're in trouble. Thanks. Good to know. I love your sister, Donna. I just want us all to be safe and get along. Happy and safe. Got it. You're sure nothing happened tonight? There's nothing... wrong? A hundred percent. Okay. Let's get ourselves home before I get a scolding too. Probably with Becky. Do you think they shall? Definitely. You seen that Bill and Wendy are going out together? I thought they were already seeing each other. No, they've been seeing each other for a bit, but now they're actually going out. Bill's such a player. I wonder how long that'll last. He's all right. Bit of a pretty boy, though. I think I lent him my copy of FIFA at some point. Moise's party tomorrow? Yeah, I hear his folks are away. Should be mental. Oh, I'm so hungry. Been trying to text you all night. We had to go off the grid. I smashed my phone so they couldn't use my GPS. My phone's out of battery. How did it go with your sister? Things are getting a bit tense at home. It couldn't be worse timing, to be honest. Why? What's wrong? Nah, forget it. It's fine. Has he said anything yet? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Pretty weird. I didn't dare sleep. I don't trust Viv's not tying skills. Hey! I can't believe how tired I am. 
Did you bring any food? Oh, no. Sorry, guys. I didn't think. OK, let's get some supplies. We could do with tying the fella up a bit more securely. I'll come with you to the shops. Oh, great. I get to stay with the weirdo all by myself. It's cool. I'll watch him. You both go and bring back some food. And some zip ties or something. All right. Whatevs. Come on already. I'm getting hangry. You must be shattered. You and Viv chatting all night. What did you talk about? You didn't mention anything about me to your sister last night, yeah? Of course not. Just, it was self-defence, yeah? And he's not dead or anything, so it's not even a crime, really? I'm not an idiot. I didn't say anything. It was Viv's idea to tie him up, and if you hadn't got stuck on that fence or whatever, we wouldn't even be in this situation. Mr Hughes is going to kick off if we have much more time off school. Screw school. It's the least of our problems. So what are we getting again? Some stuff to tie the guy up with and some sort of weapon. Yeah. Uh, why don't you leave the talking to me? As if I would actually say it like that. Hi, can I have a Stanley knife, uh, a roll of duct tape, and a bunch of double thick zip ties? <laughs> How old are you? Should you two be in school? It's a teacher training day. Mm, right. Wear your school uniform every day, do you? Listen, we just want this stuff and we'll leave. If you want to dob us into our school, go ahead. We don't care. Well, maybe a little. I'm just pulling your leg, girls. I did my fair share of skiving when I was your age. But I can't sell you this knife. You're not old enough. Oh, come on. Sorry. That went well. Oh, it's fine. I nicked all that stuff when we first walked in there, just in case. Oh, you little thief! Come on, let's not hang about. I'm not exactly thrilled about walking around town with all this murder stationery on us. Mr. Hughes. What are you two doing here? Why aren't you at school? Ah, yeah. Uh, sorry, we're just running a bit late. Um, Becky uh, wanted some company regarding a medical issue. Nothing serious, just a bit, you know, uh, personal. Right. Thanks, Donna. I take it you got permission to leave the school premises? I'll make a phone call to your form tutors to check, shall I? Donna? Hang on a second. Oh, for Pete's sake. Family problems. Look, I don't have time for this. Just get back to school and we'll talk about this another time. Too close. You've got crap chat, that's your problem. Can't you ever say anything nice? I like your smile, Donna. It's really pretty. Come on, let's just get some food and go back. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? What? Yeah, he's a sweetie. Would it be weird? Oh man, that would be weird. You really gonna ask him out? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Just had such a good time with him last night. What's up? You've gone quiet. Getting the silent treatment now, then? Fine. Be like that. Oh, we completely forgot to get Viv anything to eat. Oh, just don't mention it to him. 
He's probably forgotten anyway. Hey! Donna forgot to get you any food. Hey! We both forgot. No worries. Probably should head back anyway. I'll get food at home. If it's any consolation, we did manage to get hold of a box cutter and a bunch of cable ties. OK. I guess we can tie them up a bit more securely. OK. He's not going anywhere for now. Let's hope he doesn't have superhuman strength as well. I really need to go. Me too. Need to figure out a good excuse where I've been on the way home. I'll walk with you. Donna, you okay staying here while we're gone? Of course. If he tries anything, I'll do a Becky and smash him over the head again. Nice. We'll be back as soon as we can. I just need to make an appearance for Dad. Did he say anything while you were looking after him? Nope. I did try talking to him, but not a word. Hey, hot stranger. We're going now. Please don't eat our friend. Get out of here already. Bye, Donna. Come on, Viv. This is stupid. We should have just called the police last night. Probably would have got away with a caution, maybe an ASBO at most. But I think that ship sailed now, hasn't it? What do you think? Not much of a talker, are you? You're gonna be quiet the whole time? You've scared of me or something? Or is that your tactic? To throw me off guard? Yeah, that's your plan, isn't it? To hope that I'll feel guilty and set you free. All right, well, I'll just amuse myself then. Is Becky your friend? So you can speak, and apparently you know Becky. Is Becky your friend? Wait, you know Becky? Of course. What? How? She hit me. She's why I'm with you now. Oh. Sorry, I, I misunderstood. So you don't know her from before last night? Could I stretch my legs a moment? Oh, you must be joking. I would have asked your friends last night, but they were too deep in their own conversation. You gonna tell me what they were talking about? My legs are stiff. If I let you walk around a bit, do you think you can be a bit more straightforward with me? I can try. All right. Keep your hands where I can see them. No funny business. Come on then, tell me what I want to know. 
They were very animated with each other. Animated about what? This matters to you, doesn't it? We had a deal, remember? Do you find it difficult opening up to people? What is this? Therapy? Please. I get enough of that from my sister. Emma? How'd you... You mentioned her last night. <sighs> Bit nosy, aren't you? I'm interested. That's the sort of thing Emma would say. You two should hang out. Okay. You're funny. I see. Yeah, well, I can't wait until I'm 18. I'm gonna move out, get a flat with my friends, you know. Not deal with her crap. Sounds like you hate her. What? She's my sister. I don't hate her. I just wish she'd give me a little space. She didn't have an older sister nagging her when she was growing up. You'd be better on your own. What are you saying? I think I would like to sit down now. All right. Can I ask you a question? Of course. When we saw you last night swimming, something very... Bizarre happened. What was that? I enjoyed our talk earlier. Come on, what was it? Some sort of magic trick. If you promise not to tell anyone, maybe I could show you. Sure. Show me what you got. Come a little closer. Hey. Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh, are you all right, Donna? He was just about to show me his superpowers, weren't you? Okay. Getting a little weird in here. So now you've gone quiet all of a sudden? Because of Becky? Don't worry, she's not going to hurt you. Stop pissing around. It's not funny. We're in some real shit here, Donna. Fine, don't believe me then. Is Viv on his way? No, I texted to say he was in shit with his dad. He didn't text me. How long are we going to keep this up? Moise is throwing a sick house party tonight. Everyone's going to be there. Everyone but us. Sorry, I gotta head home. We can talk about it tomorrow when Viv's here. Hey Ash. Where is everybody? Your mum was feeling a bit poorly, so took herself to bed. Emma's out at the moment. Oh. Hope mum's okay. Sorry I'm late. I had to stay after school. Okay, well, I think I'll go straight to bed. I'm shattered. How was school today? Yeah, it was all right. Pretty good. I thought if you had to stay late, you must have had detention. No, I had netball after school. I'm thinking of trying out for the team. Where's your school bag, Donna? Must have left it somewhere. Oh, I see you've decided to grace us with your presence. She's been playing netball after school, apparently. Is Mum all right? She's fine. By the way, Thanks for cooking dinner tonight. We all really enjoyed it. 
Someone's in a bit of a mood. Uh, perhaps give your sister some space this evening, Donna. Look, I just asked if Mum was okay. Why are you on my case about it? I've enough to worry about without dealing with you again tonight, Donna. You're late home again. After all the palaver of last night. Oh, I was at the cinema with Becky and Vivek. I thought you said you were playing netball. It's always Becky and Vivek beginning to think they matter more to you than your own family. Oh, sick of this. I'm going out. Where are you going? Oh, none of your damn business! Specs, leave a message. Why is your phone off? Call me back when you get this. I'm on my way over. What are you doing back here? Just checking in. Come on, I'll take over. You go to that party. Seriously? Yeah, you did the night shift last night. It's only fair. Awesome. Anything interesting happened while I was gone? Nah, you heard from Viv. I wonder if he can make Moises too. Don't know. Haven't heard from him in a while. I'll give him a call. Phone working now, then? What? I tried calling you earlier. Oh, right. Yeah, I'd switched it off to save battery. We should probably leave our phones on at all times from now on. Okay, cool. See you later. You seem upset. I don't want to talk about it. Is it your sister? What did I just say? I thought we could continue our conversation from earlier. <sighs> okay. Let's get some things straight here. I'm not your mate. We're not going to be friends at the end of this. So you should be careful about pissing me off right now. Unless you want to see the bottom of that pool. I understand. Good. Donna? This is my knife. You asked me a question yesterday. Why are you giving it to me? Why didn't you just escape? You wanted to see what it is that I can do. Do you still want to see? Yes. Then loosen my restraints. What are you doing here? 
I, I had a suspicion you were keeping a secret. I was worried about you. It's not what it looks like. It's just a game. So I followed you down here. Waited outside to see if you'd come out. I don't know what to say. I need to get Emma. Ash, wait! Oh my god, someone stop her! Please, Ash! Stop a second! I can explain everything! 